So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about juggling and how to, um, and the history of juggling and how to teach you a few steps so it's easy to learn. Juggling has been a passion of mine for years now. Um, I started juggling in the sixth grade because we had two teachers that were actual professional jugglers in my middle school and they started a juggling club so I was in the juggling club. Everyone always makes fun of me for that. Um, by seventh grade I was actually the captain <laughs> of the juggling club. Um, it went until the eighth grade and we didn't have it in high school. It was kind of lame now that I think about it but I love that I can juggle. I can juggle um, Here's me juggling in middle school. I think that was seventh grade. I look so little. I wish I was that little. But I can juggle um, seven rings, eight pins, six balls um, at a time. And I can also ride the unicycle and juggle. So, of course, I can't juggle eight pins while riding the unicycle. But I can juggle three, and I can do the regular thing. And I can also do a um, Diablo, which is this. It's like a yo-yo, but it's all, it can go on a string, and it'll bounce off the string, and it looks just like a yo-yo. But you can put more than one. So I was able to get up to two big ones and that little one that you see right there. And I was able to juggle them on the string and do a lot of tricks with those. So, um, Carl Henson and Andrew Bowen say in their book, Juggling the Art and Its Artists, that the oldest depiction of juggling was found in um, Benny Hansen tombs in the, Middle East, in the Middle Kingdom of the ancient Egypt civilization. They say that these women jugglers were found amongst acrobats and dancer, dancers in one of the crypt's walls. This is called the Tomb of Jugglers, and it's dated to uh, 510 BCE, or BC. Um, by the 19th century, juggling was become like a specialized entertainment, like clowns. Um, there's, famous, there's very, very famous jugglers in the early 19th century to now. This is uh, Enrico, Enrico uh, Roselli. He's also often cited as the best juggler ever. The only video of him was to exist in 1929. So he was a long time ago. This is that video. Here he juggles four sticks. He can juggle six, well, and then he juggles six plates <laughs> while spinning a ring on his leg skipping rope turned by two assistants, jumping rope with a soccer ball bouncing on his head, and soccer ball rolls right here, and then brief juggling of five, and then four balls, and then right here he does soccer ball bounces. So that was a 1929 video, and that was the only one he ever had. <sighs> now I'm sure most of you are thinking I will never be able to juggle like Enrico, but <laughs> I can start and teach you some of the basics, which is really easy. So you have to get three objects that are like the same weight, same shape. You can't really juggle with like a paper clip and remote and everything else. You can't do that. Um, so apples, oranges, um, scarves are really easy for beginning jugglers because they float in the air. Um, no chainsaws. <laughs> Let's not do that. I can't even do that. But you just start off and you have one in your hand. And you always start off with your dominant hand. I'm left-handed. So, and you just toss it to the other one. And you're both sure thinking this is so stupid. And you just toss it. And you make sure your tosses are good. Because if your tosses are bad, you won't be able to juggle. So you actually practice that. Until, before I was even allowed to have a second ball, I had to sit there and have perfect tosses over and over again. So once you get two balls, you do the same thing you did. But when this ball, you toss it up like you did the first time, when it starts to fall, you do the same thing. So it'll look something like this. And you do it over and over again until your tosses are perfect. Over and over again. And you have to practice your tosses because a lot of people just do the big and get bad and they think they can juggle, but it's going to be hard adding this third one. So you can add the third one. I'm actually ambidextrous, so I actually start with this hand. But you can add a third one and you start to juggle. You just do it faster. You do the same motion you were doing and just doing faster. You can start to learn tricks. There's a lot of tricks you can learn. Juggling is something that, like eye hand coordination, I didn't realize how hard it was for certain people to learn how to juggle. <laughs> but yeah. And you can juggle, you can juggle with like people tossing it in, and you can I can do off the wall and between two people I can juggle. 
you can do so many tricks, and it's it, your hand-eye coordination just is through the roof when you do this. Plus, it impresses a ton of people. <laughs> just me at a softball game, like bringing out three softballs just uh. to do this. People get really weirded out. Uh. So, and that's how you juggle. Pretty simple. Thank you, guys.